everyone. Today we're going to have uh, clause presentation number one. This is going to be a rather short one as we start thinking about clauses. Clauses differ from phrases in that a clause has a subject and a verb, something that a phrase did not have. Remember that we did look at some phrases that were verbals. They were part, partly verbs or derivations of verbs like the participle and the gerund, but the clause actually has a subject and a verb. Not all clauses, though, can stand alone, and that's what we're going to talk about today. The clause is defined as a group of words that has a subject and a predicate and functions as part of a sentence or as a whole sentence. For instance, I walked the dog. That has a subject and a verb and can stand alone as a sentence. An independent clause is, in fact, a sentence like I walked the dog because it has, again, a subject, a verb, and could stand alone by itself as a complete thought, a complete sentence. That's what's known as an independent clause. Sometimes it's called a main clause. In our book, it's called an independent clause. The subordinate clause cannot stand alone by itself as a complete thought or as a sentence. For example, after I got home from work, that leaves you wondering, okay, after I got home from work, what? It does not express a complete thought. Interestingly enough, and we'll talk more about this, this later, but this little word right here, after, is what changes this sentence from an independent clause to a subordinate one. I could certainly say I got home from work and have that stand alone as an independent clause. But because I put this word after there, now the clause is subordinate. It can no longer stand by itself. What is a complex sentence? Well, that's when I put an independent clause and a subordinate clause together. And here I'm using the two that we just looked at. I walked the dog after I got home from work. So by having the independent clause and the subordinate clause, I have created what's known as a complex sentence. Try writing a few complex sentences and label the independent and subordinate clauses. Take a few minutes to do that. And that will end part one of our study of clauses.